also, I, I don't think this is true. Like, the Lewis to Ferrari thing, I think, makes more sense. Everyone mm-hmm. wants, like, I generalize this. Don't yell at me for saying this. But, like, everyone wants to drive for Ferrari, right? Like, it is at least the Ferrari of old. It's very historic. They have lots of deep roots in F1. Being a Ferrari driver, like, is held on the pedestal. So, Lewis, at the end of his career, not happy with Mercedes, whatever, he has the chance to jump to Ferrari and maybe win some races, maybe not, but he knows that he's going to make a huge impact there, talking about, you know, working with his foundation and changing the culture at Ferrari a little bit and working on diversity. And like, that means so much to him, him talking about the sport, being, you know, an advocate for the sport, a champion of the sport. I think he'll be able to do some great things at Ferrari. That move is completely different than Max going to Mercedes especially in the state that the car is at in Mercedes right now. I truly, and I know we were talking about this earlier, I think Max will either, I think he'll retire at the end of the regulations in 2025. He'll go off on a high note before they have to change the car and like maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, and then he's stuck with that through the end of his contract. I truly think that he'll be done in 2025. Yeah, I I think, you know, his current contract is through 2028, which would be, you know, well into the next regulation. But you know, like you, like back, thinking back to the beginnings of of Max's career and, you know, back when he was this really young phenom and wondering where he was going, um, the, you know, Mercedes was a really, you know, they wanted to get him at Mercedes. Mercedes wanted him, but they had Rosberg and Hamilton. So Max ended up, you know, in the Red Bull family, starting off at Toro Rosso. But, Mercedes is not like doesn't have the same cachet that it did in 2016. Like it's not the dominant team, it's not the don- dominant drive. It is, you know, it would be the worst thing for Max's career. And I, tr- and this is not because I'm not a Mercedes fan, but you know, leaving Red Bull for Mercedes would be the worst thing for Max's career. And as somebody who is so obsessively driven and focused on success, Max would be miserable if that happened. Yeah. No, he would. He would like I there's mean, there's there's to nothing Toto work together but that's I mean I don't even happen. know how that would happen I don't know <laughs> no, how that would happen it like the it yeah and it's you know it it would be a devastating move and you like you said about you know Lewis Lewis going to Ferrari and Max potentially moving away from Red Bull are two wildly different different things that that cannot they're different apples planets. and oranges and cannot be compared it's co- yeah. it's, it's Mars and it's France um <laughs> like that's that's how different these situations are and we love to talk about these rumors and we love to hear these sound bites um but that's like you know max even said you know anything could happen and yeah that's true anything can happen but at this point you know max was asked today how can he focus on driving amidst the controversy and the answer that he doesn't give is that he literally doesn't give a shit Like he, what, what Max Verstappen loves to do is drive cars really fast. And right now that is what he is able to do. That is what the team is enabling, you know, for him to have. It's not impacting car and team performance. So therefore he doesn't care. And, you know, everybody wants Max to, to like have an opinion or, you know, be upset about this, but you know, anything that Max would be upset about would be, you know, related to race conditions at this point. Um, He, he, he says that he can like turn it off. And obviously it's because like, it doesn't matter to him as long as he's still winning right and I think for Max like this is a job right like like take Lewis for example like this is his life his life's work is F1 Mm -hmm. this is Max's job so like he checks in he checks out and he goes and I don't think all of the controversy and everything and the rumor mill and everybody talking that doesn't affect him because that's his like off time and he doesn't care and he doesn't buy into it because it's not, it's not the him racing. So I think he has a very interesting on and off switch. Let's say, like, I mean, he's what mm-hmm. playing FIFA the night before he's supposed to be racing or qualifying, like up late, just not paying attention, or not not that he's not paying attention, but like not focusing. And like, if you we were to take like what Lewis was doing at the same time, I bet he's studying film, he's looking at stuff, he's you know, talking with engineers, strategy, X, Y, Z. Again, yeah, wildly different individuals, different perspectives. And Luce is just one example. But I think Max truly doesn't give a shit, which I think is great. No, 
No, he he doesn't. He and like if he's not racing in a car, he's sim racing or he's you know he's got an esports team he's he's got so many other like he's not worried about this and he's even said that he's accomplished everything there is to accomplish as a formula one driver um and he doesn't need you know seven you know eight or even eight world championships to break that record for him to feel accomplished in his career he has accomplished everything that was set out to do the moment yost verstappen put him in a go-kart um and And this is just like sticks around because of that like because max doesn't care and he's like i'm just here to drive and like yos is doing the talking that he thinks max should be doing and like trying to really have a handle on his career that's probably it yeah yeah and it's just it's it's unnecessary like you know i know he has influence but i don't think it's necessary to acknowledge that because it you know this is this is only happening because of the christian horner controversy drama and so with you know so so yost feels that he has to say something um to help max but it's not actually helping but it's also not hurting because max doesn't actually care 